Okay, we are going to look at one exercise. So here, design the fine class. We are going to draw class diagram for fine class. So class name at the beginning. And then we have a data field. First one is speed. He actually say private, so private in integer. Next one is uh, private Boolean data type. Name is on. Again private. So radius uh, double. Again, next one is, um, we say string data field. Again, we are going to assume there is a private. And then constructor, uh, default constructor, and then two string methods. For getter and setter methods, uh, I'm going to omit because it's going to be a uh, for pair of uh, data field methods, so I will omit it. Two string methods returning two string. Based on description, that's what we have. Class diagram, we have class name, data field, then on one constructor, one, two, three methods. Because it's quite obvious for getters and get setters for all four data fields, we open omit. When we have a default constructor only, uh, we don't have to write it down because it's obvious. We can omit. For now, I will keep it as it is. So here, even the question doesn't ask for object diagram. Let me just quickly demonstrate. Let's say object 1, called fan 1, has a value. Speed is maximum. Should be 3 uh, for fast speed. Then next one is, uh, I will follow the same order. On is true. We said turn it on on the first object. Then radius 10 inch. Color is white. Uh, for color, because it's string value, um, I may use a double quotation marks to go, to make it clear. So we have object name, reports the fan class, and then default value. We have another object. This time is going to be uh, low, number one. Again, uh, on radius color is turned off, so I will say false. And color is um, blue. So you need to consider um, constants. There are three constants. Uh, in class diagram, you don't have to insert it, or you don't have to describe it. OK, let's create a new project.
uh, basically said fan applications here. So we have a fan class. Again, let me uh, bring it up description. We have a uh, constants. Again, uh, I forgot to add uh, access modifier that's supposed to be public, normally by default. So we need to declare three constants can be used for uh, speed, data field, Let me continue type private So if you look at class diagram uh, okay in the speed uh, default value is happen to be low sorry slow so we reports the number one. Uh, Brilliant on default value supposed to be false. Okay. Um, double radius. Okay. Default value is ten. Again, uh, next one is. Again, I will declare as a private string color. Default is orange. You know, sometimes the discount cannot be um, obvious or not clear. So that means you have to make a decision by yourself. So here I did not put setters and getters. Let me use, show you how to use code generations. So here is the setters and getters. Select them one by one, all of them, for data view, generate. So if you go down, we have um, four getters and then four setters. I assume that you know how to do uh, methods for those two four data fields. So you can use uh, code generation if you want to. Here we should have a constructor. That's the default constructor. Okay, now if you look at here, we have only default constructor. There are no other constructors. That means you don't have to uh, explicitly type the default constructor. We can just use the default constructor implicitly. So we have a two string method, usually put it at the end. So here is the two string. I'm going to print uh, only data field. Speed on radius and color. Okay. As a string type for object number one and two. Generate. So, as you can see, we have a string written type. Okay, and that's all we have, I think. If you're not sure, just um, stop the video clip and then have a look. Try slowly. Here I'm going to use default constructor 
then construct two objects called fan1 and fan2 according to uh, object diagrams. And then I'm going to use setters to assign new value. And uh, true radius equal to 10. And then set color. Again, almost identical. So set to string. Don't forget to string will return string value here. That means you have to print it by yourself. So system R print RN. That's it. Then uh, let me construct a second object with a different, different value. Copy paste. Number two, two, there will be one. This false. Two and two and two. There will be five and then blue. Again, this fan two. Okay. So we know that there are two objects. Um, three through ten white, and then one false and five point zero and blue. That's all correct. Um, again, look at the two string. Uh, let me put it next line. Make it simpler. So we have a two string and then we have a three constants. One, two, three, four data fields. We are using default constructor explicit, uh, sorry, implicitly. It means if you don't declare, we are referring to default constructor here. Same as a class name, no return type, not even void. Okay. And then we are referring to that is constants. There are three of them: slow, medium, fast. This um, based on get usually set on, but when you use the pins. Brilliant times um, usually say is on and then set on. There's one mistake on fan two. Uh, if you look at the on, should be false. According to uh, descriptions, it says false. Thank you.